start look i need all y'all to go to motherfucking amazon.com and i need y'all to type in lv skinny ass or gas you're gonna find some ass or gas shirts you know what i'm saying this is my first like these are my first actual shirts online i'm about to have hella different clothes and shit you know what i'm saying so if you support a nigga and you know what i'm saying all the shit i'm trying to accomplish support a nigga then but yeah let's get into the video what's good youtube it's your boy lv skinny and today we is here to check out a video from Breast Poet. Uh, it is the top five unexplained mysteries of Mortal Kombat. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't check my recent gaming videos type shit, I've been fucking with the Mortal Kombat hard. Been fucking with it my whole life. Like Mortal Kombat, Tekken, and fucking those are the two main shits that I well in 2K. Every year there's a new one. I I'm copping the day it drops. I'm pre-ordering. Like I'm on it. And I had um, Mortal Kombat X when it first came out. I beat it all in a day because I'm not really, I wasn't really into online play like that. Like, I play online, but I'm not about to sit here and just fight people all day like, I'm the best. Like, you know, that wasn't really me. So I beat it and then got rid of it type shit. But I just bought it again uh, yesterday from GameStop. It's still a great game. You know, so I got the XL version. It got them uh, Jason. It got fucking... The predator it, you know it's it's cool it's cool so we better check out the top five unexplained mysteries another round studio what's up guys brush Bowl productions here back with an all new mortal Kombat X video for you guys and in today's video i've got another top five for you guys and in today's top five is going to be the one a lot of you guys have been waiting for and that is the top five unexplained mysteries of mortal Kombat part two now if you guys haven't seen part one i asked you guys in that video if you would just give the video a like if you guys wanted to see part two and you guys almost got that 2,000 likes so you guys know what to do if you guys want to see part three or if you just want to see more top fives and top tens in the future all you, you gotta do is give this video likes. a like so you guys can keep this series alive also comment down below and let me know what other top fives and top tens would you guys like me to do but with that being said let's get on with the video Number five, Shang Tsung's fate. Now we all know in Mortal Kombat 9. All right, I don't know where they're gonna go with this because I see a lot of different games and shit. Like they never really made sense to me, but they made sense at the same time. Like I know they take place at different times. Like like how they had Liu Kang getting killed in the other one, and uh, I think Deadly Alliance in the beginning, and then like the other games you'll see he's a playable character. Like I feel like that Deadly Alliance shit was kind of like towards the end of the timeline maybe see i don't know because in the the new mortal kombat x like everybody was there they were kind of going through meeting i i don't know these mortal kombat stories are so like in depth and so like open but in depth at the same time to where you can like think of your own story create your own shit and you could be wrong but you could entertain your own self that Shao Kahn killed Shang Tsung by taking all of his souls, or pretty much taking everything from him, and putting it into Sindel. And with that power of Shang Tsung in Sindel, Sindel killed everyone in Mortal Kombat 9. One of the people she killed was Jax, and in Jax's chapter you, you can see it. that Jax defeats Sindel. So something's not right, so that would probably mean that Shang Tsung's soul is out of Sindel. But where is it at? So somebody took Shang Tsung's soul out of Sindel and put it somewhere else. But where did he put it? Where is Shang Tsung? I'm pretty sure we're going to get an answer in Mortal Kombat 11. And I do highly believe that Shang Tsung is going to be in Mortal Kombat 11. Sure, he's in some endings. He has some references. There's Easter eggs of Shang Tsung. But the thing that stands out the most of Shang Tsung actually being alive in this timeline and stuff is Ermac's ending. Now, not all endings are canon, so we don't know yet. The only way we can know if it is actually canon is if it happens in the next game. But MK11 isn't out yet, is it? So that's why it's considered a mystery. Number four. I definitely believe Shang Tsung will be there because that nigga was like the the master of like basically a ma I don't know if him or Quan Chi would be like the master of tricking people type shit. I feel like that's more Quan Chi. But as y'all seen through Mortal Kombat, this nigga Shang Tsung will transfer 
as someone else type shit. And, yeah, man. We got to do this. And, like, make it sound good type shit and make you do it. And then once you realize you didn't did the bad shit, he reveals himself. And he's like, ha motherfucker. I got you. It's really like the devil in real life. You know what I'm saying? It comes as a good person. And then shit's crazy. Four, where is Fujin? Now, if you guys don't know, Fujin did appear in Mortal Kombat X as a cameo, but then after that, we never saw him again. So what? No cap. I never really cared for Fujin. I didn't. We already had a raid and didn't really care. Where the heck has he been all this time? Shinnok has been causing so much chaos in Earthrealm, nearly ruling all of existence, and he's not doing anything about it? Something's not right. Also, one of the Netherrealm developers actually confirmed on... My fault for all the pausing. I'm probably gonna do a lot of pausing through this. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, if you don't want that, if you don't like that, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta believe my nigga shit. But, you know what I'm saying? It, I think, I'm pretty sure, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Fujin and Raiden are brothers. I think Raiden is like the god of thunder. And I think Fujin was like god of wind or... It was something I can't remember exactly. On Twitter that he was actually supposed to be helping Jax in the Netherrealm in Jax's chapter, but obviously that was a deleted scene, so it didn't make the production. Which is why it still remains a mystery on where the heck Fujin has been all this time. Now the next three mysteries I'm going to be talking about were actually suggested by my friend Ishi Rose. If you guys don't know him, he actually was on my previous podcast, on my two previous podcasts. Go check him out. Link will be in the description. But kudos goes to him for suggesting these unexplained mysteries. Because if it wasn't for him, these wouldn't be on this list. Number three, Shout what was Shinnok's plan? Now, you guys might be thinking, what do you mean by Shinnok's plan? Well, I'm talking about Wei and Armageddon, so we're going to go back to the original timeline. So, as you guys know, spoiler alert if you guys didn't know, actually, the Shinnok we see in Mortal Kombat Armageddon's intro is not the actual Shinnok. It is actually a clone that Shinnok made. So, what was Shinnok's plan? Because he must have known that Armageddon was going to happen because he was prepared for it by clone. sending out a clone instead of himself. Like I said, if he knew that Armageddon was going to happen all this time, what was he going to do? What was his plan? I know it's something not too huge, but it is still a mystery on what the heck he was going to do. It doesn't say anywhere in the endings, it doesn't say anywhere in the bios, nothing in Conquest, so we don't... See, that's what I'm saying. Mortal Kombat is such a dope game. Because even, like, throughout the year, so much stuff, like, they create such, like, specific games type shit, or such, like in-depth games but they leave out a lot of shit and i'm pretty sure they leave it out on purpose so that, like the the consumer can really you know what i'm saying create their own shit feel their own shit my whole life i grew up thinking sub-zero and scorpion were like brothers like literally had the same parents and something something and then blah they just started hating each other but no it's really like they're clan brothers like they're from the different ninja clans and they're related in that way and something i don't know honestly i honestly don't know but it's really interesting to hear i don't know which is why it still remains an unexplained mystery now obviously the outcome of that plan is probably going to be you know death to all all existence is extinct but what was Shinnok going to do in the process of that besides putting out a clone we don't know yet which is why it remains unexplained Number two is Drawman King Jared. Now, I'm going to be talking about the original timeline again because of... No flex, this has been a lot of stuff that I really don't know about. That's why I can't really get into depth on these theories type shit. Drawman, I can't think off the top of my head who the fuck that is. I think it was like, I think he was kind of a human looking guy compared to the rest. I'm not sure. Apparently, let King Jared's soul is in Ermac, but in the original timeline... That's drama. I remember drama. I think he was on Deadly Alliance or Deception. One of them. That's drama. And they think he's King. Who the fuck is King Jared? King Jared Saul assumingly went to the Nether Realm. Now, if you guys don't know who drama is, drama is a demon from the Nether Realm who serves Quan Chi. My bad, my bad. I just had some technical difficulties. I honestly don't remember where I left off fit, so you know we're just gonna get right back into the video. Let's see what they got for me. Jared is King Jared is actually the former ruler of Adenia before he was killed by Shao Kahn right, after on, losing a Mortal Kombat tournament against Outworld. He was also he was also the real father of Kitana and the real husband of Sindel before Shao Kahn came in 
and took Sindel as his Ooh, wife. This nigga and why have you never been in a Mortal Kombat game? Now, why do I think Draman could possibly be King Jared? Well, in Draman's bio in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, in the concept art bios, I should say, it says that he was once a ruthless and powerful warlord, which is exactly what King Jared is. Also, it shows what he looked like before he became this ugly monster. Take a look at what he looked like right here. It looks like King Jared, doesn't it? Because if you compare it to what he looked like in this image, which is from the Mortal Kombat comic way back in the 90s, it looks so much like King Jared. And doesn't King Jared look like a warlord in this image? Midway at the time never commented on it, but the evidence that I just showed you could... Okay. There was some great evidence, not gonna lie. I didn't believe it at first till I seen the little the uh, picture from his thing. Then the comic. This guy. Open the possibility that it actually is King Jared, but since it's not confirmed yet, or it hasn't been commented on yet, by Netherrealm or Midway, it still remains a mystery. And finally, number one, is Chameleon an experiment? Now, if you guys didn't know, Chameleon doesn't have a backstory. We don't know. I literally took Chameleon as some bullshit. Because literally, I honestly feel like, kind of with Mortal Kombat, I'm glad they did it, but at the same time, they are basically lazy. Because they created a base ninja. Say Scorpion was the first ninja they uh, created. They was like, okay, we got a yellow one. Shit, fuck it. Let's do a blue one. And then boom, what's blue? Blue is cold. Sub-Zero. It was like, hmm, shit. Uh, green. Uh, what's green? Poison. Okay, what can we do? Reptile. Uh, who the fuck is another one? Uh, I can't think of them right now, but... Ermac, you know? Uh, I don't know what the fuck a Ermac is. It's an error macro, but, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, I, I just feel like they kind of got lazy with it, but at the same time, it was dope. So, for this chameleon person, it's literally all of the, the clones, essentially, that they created. All the different colors. And they was like, sure, we already made these different people. What if we put them all together into a chameleon? That way he changes colors and changes powers. And they were like, oh, that's cool, man, but, you know, it's probably it's probably not necessary. And he's like, nah, dude, we have to put them in. And then every fucking beating they have, they're just like, so how about Chameleon now? And that's probably why there's speculation that this Chameleon person is really such a big person. It's probably just one person on the damn Mortal Kombat team that was just like, we need fucking Chameleon. I don't know. We don't know what race he's from, we don't know his true name, we don't know where he came from, or anything like that. In Mortal Kombat Armageddon, he was given a brief backstory, but it explained absolutely nothing, because what we got out of it was that he was hiding behind the shadows, or he was in the shadows, all the way to when Liu Kang won his first tournament, all the way to so Armageddon, so like pretty much, it was just there. Now many fans speculate that he is actually a Saurian, aka Reptile's race, due to the fact that he shares similar features with the female version of Chameleon, I mean, is who is actually confirmed to be from Reptile's race, and have a Reptilian name, and the Reptilian titles of his special moves in Armageddon. But here is another possibility of where he possibly came from. Now here are the words from Ishii Rose. Chameleon is probably an experiment because of his odd adaptive traits. Because Shang Tsung had likely been experimenting with the bodies of the remaining race of the Saurians by having them in slavery. Now obviously during that timeline and in this timeline they are extinct. So that would mean that Shang Tsung is probably trying to revive Reptile's race so he can have them in slavery as it states in Reptile's MK2 bio. Right. Now that would definitely explain why you know Chameleon is not known or has no bio to where he came from. Because Shang Tsung's secret plot was to revive the Saurians and have them enslaved by him. Or, he just wasn't a real character that they decided to really make. He wasn't a Johnny Cage, he wasn't a, a Sonya Blade, he wasn't a Kenshi. And that perfectly explains why Chameleon has a reptilian name, Reptilian titles of his special moves in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Alright. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get the point. I, I, I think that was a... That was an okay video. 
I've checked out a lot of different, you know what I'm saying? For some reason, I've really been on a Mortal Kombat kick right now, you know what I'm saying? I've just been watching all these random-ass irrelevant videos because, you know what I'm saying, it's a video game. All this stuff is made up. But at the same time, it is entertaining. You know what I'm saying? If it's something you really grew up with and you really, like, you just played it as a game when you grew up, like, you just did it for fun, you didn't really look into it and learn the backstories, learn why and how and when, like, all the the questions type shit, like, you'll figure out a lot. So, yeah, uh, shout out to my Mortal Kombat niggas, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Mortal Kombat community. Uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube. I'm out. All of my niggas in here, we ain't doing the fight. Send bullets through air. Hey, diamond shining very clear. Hey, she wanna fuck pulling her hair. 24 7, I'm grinding. I'm out here again, cheddar. Smoking on some of that good shit. Life can't be better. Life can't get worse. I done seen that shit. We done went through the worst. You wouldn't even believe the shit. I was out here trapping at night. Times was bad, but we got right. Sunday morning, Dr. Light. Monday morning, night to bright. Naughty fiend ain't hit my phone. I tell him, Connor, I'll be there right. And he don't even need the shit. Cause he just almost lost his sight. But I'm on a bag and I need it. Straight cash, I'm fucking no Lisa. I'm in Cali, I'm smoking on Keisha. We spice on his head like Elisa. Pull up when they need it, they leave him. Take over the land like a treason. Going all of this dope for a reason. It hurt me to see all my people. Some of them really down, really fucked up, really going through it. I dedicated my whole life just to make it off fucking music. Pay attention to your nigga when he's speaking, cause he probably going through it. That nigga really might lose it. Stay in tune with your dick.